Hey human Latios Saits, so this is Latios Azubril and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. So, let's continue. Chapter 5, Harmony Scarves. Hmm. The next morning. Well, I sure was tired. Let's, uh, oh, it's, it's Nuzleaf. Oh, wake already, Eric? Well, good morning to you. Nuzleaf, you're back! Sorry for leaving you by your lonesome like that. I bet you miss me, huh? What's that? You didn't miss me none? Oh. Uh -huh. Well, now that's a bit disheartening to hear, but never you mind. Tell me. Do you recollect anything about yourself in your past yet? Any more sign of them but him? No, everything's pretty much normal. Mm -hmm. It's a shame you ain't remember nothing new, but at least you ain't had, had to face any trouble here on your own either. And how's your life treating you? No problems, I hope. I feel awful bad if the other kids were picking on you or anything of the sort. Nah, no problems. Truly? That was my biggest concern, so I'm right glad to hear that. I reckon we might keep plugging along like this and see how things turn out. And for you, that means another day of going off to school like a good little student. Alright, you got it. Glad to see you're back, Nuzleaf. I was a bit worried how you'd be doing on your own, but it looks like I needn't be. You hurry off and have a good day at school. Alright, bye, Nuzleaf. Um, looks like Chikorita went off alone. I guess right in the school alone again. Whatever. Hey there. Taking care of flowers is my duty. It can be hectic, but it's always fun. Alright, well. Ooh, you okay there? I like traveling. You do, do you? I'm Rampardos. I used to run a business called Box Buster. I wonder how Chinchino's doing. Huh. Interesting. Whoa, what is... We found two petrify wands. That happened. Well, can't complain about free stuff. If it's free, it's for me. Um, what's going on? Huh, seems like there's a crowd around the village entrance. What's going on? So, how did it look? I tried to get a decent look around, but it was no good. They're all worked up. But it will be worth it if I am if we get some delicious honey out of it at the end. Delicious honey? Yeah, that's right. Out in, no in Nectar Meadow, where they're starting in their on their annual. Huh? Aren't you? Oh, dude, Roselia's little one. Honey-making season's begun, child. Many Pokemon like Beedrill and Combi all get together to make heaps of honey. And the honey that they make is the best. Just, just a little taste is enough to have me jumping for joy. You jumping for joy? It's nutritional. It's a nutritional powerhouse to boot. However, they're on edge while making honey. Stay safe and steer clear till they're all all done. Especially a wee child like yourself. It'd be best to give Nectar Meadow a wide berth at this time of year. Honey making, huh? I wonder what that delicious honey is like. I wouldn't mind tasting it. Of course, I wouldn't want to go near a bunch of bees. Why would that be bees? Ooh, revive orb. Show me whatever you want to eat. I'll swear it in no time for you. I'm sorry, sear it in no time for you. Wow, okay. Shh! You can hear lots of things if you stay quiet. Alright, cool. Aren't you just out there? I feel like that Rampardos gets around quickly. My tusks grow back stronger every time they break off. That's why I chew a lot when I eat. Tiny Reviver Seed, nice. My cheeks and tail go zap! I'm a painter. 
To me, art is... well, art is... Uh, I don't know. Art is fun. Well, you know what, we should probably head to school, to be honest. We gotta head to school. Might as well deposit some stuff, though. No reason to hold on to all this stuff. No, let's sell these apples, because why not? Get 200 bucks out of this. Alright, coins, whatever it is. Poke something. Let's deposit our money. That gives us 1449. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright. Hopefully we can make our uh, peace with Chikorita. Good morning, Principal Simipore. Good morning to you, Gumi. Oh, uh, Principal Simipore, good morning. And a good morning to you, dearling. Good morning, Principal Simipore. You got gate duty today, huh? So let me ask you, sir, why are you always smirking? I'm not smirking, I'm smiling, my boy. I'm just so tickled to see all you coming to school in such good spirits. More importantly than that, though, class is about to begin. Be off to your seat like a good boy. Yes, sir! Hey, Eric! Yeah? Where'd you come from anyway? You know you never told us. I didn't? Okay. Does anybody know where Eric's from? I have no idea. Well, no, I guess not. That's true, huh? We never even asked, did we? Man. Yeah, yeah, that's enough from you. Once you start, you never stop, so don't. But isn't that weird? That nobody knows where you're from? So tell us! Oh, no, no, no way! No way you could be... Are you from Lively Town? Lively Town? What? Lively Town? So that makes you like a city Pokemon, huh? Are <laughs> so sophisticated? Nuzleaf could... Um, uh, Nuzleaf hardly seems like the city type. I think you're on the wrong track. What should I do? They'd probably be shocked if ever to tell them the truth. Do any of you even believe me? Then what's the real answer? Where'd you really come from? But trying to hide the truth won't really gain me anything either. I guess I'm just trying to be honest. Yeah, I was a human. What? Eric is... from the human world? Like a real-life human? But you are undeniably a Pokemon right now, Eric. What? You got turned into a Pokemon somehow? And you don't remember your old life? What? Then how do I remember I'm a human? Seems like it really is a shock. Ha! <laughs> Eric, you're such a liar. You're not even gonna believe me? Now who would ever believe a made-up story like you being a human? Nobody's ever seen a real human. They only exist in kids' stories. Okay, I love the irony there. Well, yeah, it is a bit hard to believe. Dearling, I don't exactly believe it, but I can't say that I know enough either way. What would Eric gain from telling such a lie? Well, I mean, it, it is possible that, that, that I, I mean... I, I could just uh, be a pathological liar, but I'm not, so don't worry. Jesper. If you're gonna make up lies, at least do a better job of making them believable. <laughs> Order! What's all this ruckus about now? Teach! Eric's telling lies! Telling lies? Yeah! Totally unbelievable, Whoppers! Sometimes the most unbelievable things are the things you should most believe in. That's what I found. Principal Semipore? Perhaps Eric's story is not true. But who are we to say? And what if it is not a lie? 
sometimes unbelievable things do happen. And because they do, living in this world proves endlessly entertaining. Not that I have any idea any idea what kind of tales that Rick may have been telling, haha. <laughs> The point is just that you chi um, is just that you children should examine things from many angles and hopefully have fun learning many new things as you do. Change your point of view even a little, and you might see an entirely new picture. But now I believe it is time for a class to begin. Mr. Farfetched, I leave the rest to you. Y yes, sir. Let's get started um, then, class. Today we will begin with the tale of the three little spoink and the Mighty Anna. Alright, great, three little pigs. Now, let's see, once upon a time in a far-off kingdom. Mr. Farfetch'd, I don't think that's the right story. Ah, uh, indeed, I apologize. A long time ago in a Pokemon world far, far away. Alright, when third period finally rolled around. Children, I will be leading your field trip again today. Also, I'm pleased to announce some special guests. Our friendly local sheriffs are here to assist in today's lesson. Hmm. Wow, real-life sheriffs? They're so cool! We're here today to demonstrate to all of you how to use an alliance. An alliance? That's right, an alliance. Your team must use an alliance to together to unleash their moves. It is an absolutely vital skill to have, so be sure to learn it well. Let's move into the forest to continue the demonstration. Now then, we'll ask these kind officers to perform an alliance for us, so students pay close attention. And you are certain about this? You may even lose consciousness. Beep, beep, beep. It will be fine. Don't you know who I am? Have at me. Come on. Very well, then. Take this, our perfected triple shock attack, which we just named right now. Whoa. Yeah! Vice Principal Watchog! Oh, gosh. What? This is nothing, nothing at all. More important, did you all watch carefully how they used an alliance? No, I think you need to do this again. Allies moving together in an instant. Surrounding a foe to attack all at once. What's more, it deals damage to your enemies, even if it's a bad matchup. This, that is the definition of an alliance. However, if you use this tactic too much, it will make you very hungry, so be forewarned. Next, it will be up to you all to try it out. Against me. Come at me. Oh, great. Vice Principal Watchog versus Pancham, Shelmet, and Esper. First, choose the move you want for your alliance. So register the move. Lightly, tight, um, lightly tap R. All you do is press R lightly. Okay? I did, alright. Alright, now you're cooking. This is an alliance registration mode. Okay. Once you're in this mode, you need to choose your moves. So let's say Leer. Let's say Acid, and I don't want to hurt uh, the principal too much. Uh, so the vice principal too much. Scratch. You're ready now. Time to unleash your alliance. Okay, so you want to touch. Press R or touch the icon. Alright, there we go. Yarg. No, you really got me, but I'm not done yet. One more time, let's see another alliance. Come at, come and face me, your illustrious vice principal. Well, once you let much an alliance, you can hold down L and press R. Okay. You got it, you're an alliance expert now. Alright. Looks like you've all been able to get in a bit of practice. I think you should have the basics of alliances down by now. Now use them wisely in your adventures. Oh, Vice Principal! I'm fine. 
but I may have underestimated the impact of so many moves, even if you are children. You all did a very fine job attacking me, even if you did seem to enjoy it a bit much. Let's bring this lesson to an end. Ding dong! Ding dong! Bye, Miss Lodino. Goodbye for today. Be safe on your way home. Alright, let's head, uh, I guess, out back home. The next morning. Um, oh, hey, Nuzleaf. Morning, Eric. Looks like another fine day. You have a good time at school today, you hear? Alright, sure. I think Chikorita's still mad at us. Peekaboo! That's what I like to do. I like Illumai so much. Finding one makes my rear end shine with joy. TMI. Alright. Yeah, Chikorita's just not hanging out around here, I guess. Well. I don't know if Chikorita's ever gonna forgive us, but... You know, things happen. I'm always full of smiles, because why not? Alright then, guess we've got to give it our again, um, all again today. Yes, Emolga, yes, we do got to give it our all today. Alright, let's head to school. Ding dong, ding dong. Alright children, it's time for health class. Today we'll be learning about e evolving. What? Evolution? Isn't that like maturing quickly? What are you talking about? Don't you know what evolution is? Evolving just means you get bigger. I for one want to get bigger. That's what she said. Well, that's one way to sum it up, yes. What? We'll get bigger? It's not only your body's growing larger, though. It causes many other changes. I'm sure it does. Evolving does bring your, your, you closer to being an adult. So in that sense, Chikorita's assumptions are not entirely off base. What's that supposed to mean? And in addition to evolving, you may... Excuse me? I'm sorry, but have you seen Badoo today? Huh? Little Badoo? Here? No, I surely haven't. Isn't it still another year before Buddy was due to start school? Oh, what am I to do? I searched all over our neighborhood, and, but found no sign of her. What? You mean Buddy was gone missing? Maybe I should have contacted the sheriffs. I'm sorry for interrupting your class like this. Oh my! Are you alright, Roselia? Yes, it's just that I've been getting a little dizzy lately. You come with me, sweetie. I want you to rest for a bit in the school clinic. What could have happened to Budu? It makes you worry, doesn't it? Well, of course you would, dearling. You're just so kind-hearted. But it seems to me like you might have might be overreacting over one kid wandering off. How can you say that? How can you not want, uh, worry when a tiny kid like that goes missing on her own? How dare you! It's true that her mother at least would get worried about it. Wait, Budu? I, I think Budu is the one I saw back yesterday. A little flashback. Ooh. Budu, Rosalia's little one. Honey making season has begun, child. Many Pokemon like Beedrill and Combi all get together to make heaps of honey. Huh. However, they're on edge while making honey. Stay safe and steer clear till they're done. Especially a wee child like yourself. It's best to give Nectar Meadow a wide berth at the time of at this time of year. Could it be that Bodu went anyway? 
she may be after some honey. Hmm, what is it, Eric? Um... What?! You have an idea where Bunu might have gotten to? Necker Meadow to get some honey! It is true that honey-making season has begun in Necker Meadow. If she did go there, Buddy may be in real danger. <laughs> Why are you all falling for this liar's story? Don't you remember the ridiculous tales Eric was spewing just yesterday? Huh? Well, I can't believe you're falling for it again. Who would swallow that kind of lie? You're all getting tricked again! Whoa, that was a close one. You only got fooled again. There. So they won't believe a word I say? Well, if that's how it is... Eric! Hey, what are you... You can't just run out in the middle of class! What a fool. As if any of us would follow. I can't wait to see, um, to see the chilling out that Eric is gonna get from the teacher. <laughs> Eric. So of course we're gonna do the responsible thing and go find Nuzleaf and tell Nuzleaf to go track down... Actually, Nuzleaf would be in a worse disadvantage since Grass Dark is quad weak to bug. Oh, maybe we should get... You know what? We should get Caracosa to go. Caracosa can probably take care of Necker Meadow for us. That's the responsible thing to do. No way am I going to let this go. If no one else believes me, then I simply have to go by myself. I'm going straight to Necker Meadow. What is going on here? Am I just that dumb? Why don't I do the responsible thing and, you know, send an adult to actually go to Necker Meadow? Nuzleaf, I need you to... Nuzleaf, where are you when I need you? Alright, Caracosta, come on. This is life or death for a little budu. Really? Neither are home. Neither Nuzleaf nor Caracosta is home. So now I have to do the irresponsible thing and go dangerously into Necker Meadow. That is just awesome. Hold up, Eric! I did it! I ditched class too! What? I'm going with you. I believe you, Eric. Chikorita! Come on, let's take on Necker Meadow. We're going to find Budu. Alright, let's go to Necker Meadow. Oh, and if we get the chance, let's give that Alliance thing a shot. We just learned about it yesterday, so we ought to at least give it a try. Sure, why not? I don't know. Alright. So, I don't know you know how to use an alliance based on class, but it uses up our belly, apparently. That's just great. Alright, let's go through Necker Meadow, then. I can't believe how stupid we are. Cutting class. That thing's broken. Might as well pick these up. Oh dear. I try to check out what that item is on the other side of this room, but I want to get out of this floor before we have to do all these battles, which, I mean, we probably should do some battles, I guess. But... These emeralds could definitely be useful, let's be honest, but... I want to see if I can find a loop before I just use the emeralds. I doubt I'll find a loop with, though. Oh, dear. Chikorita, we'll, we'll handle this. Oh great, why are you attacking me? Oh, energy ball. And you're going down. Ooh, I found a apple. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Let's mud bomb this thing, it'll be neutral. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How did Fury Cutter do that much damage?
I mean, seriously, how did it do that much damage? That doesn't make any sense. It's a weak move. I know it's super effective in stab and all, but... I'm also thinking it's like technician. Um... Alright, well... Might as well deposit this stuff. I'll hold on to one of the a to the apple and the loop and the amorous, I guess. Alright. Doesn't change Oh, Chikorita's back. Thanks, game. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Wake up, self! I'm about to die. And I'm dead. Um... I guess I'm giving up. <laughs> wow! That kind of sucks. At least we start from back here. So at least all we lost is the one apple, which I don't mind losing, but... Wow, game! Wow! <laughs> Sending a poor defensive little mud... Defenseless little mudkip into a, uh... Into a place where they do this much damage. So easily. I want to use this and get some defense, because... Just screw it. I need defense now. Alright, I know you're a poor little skiddo there, but... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No one wags their tail at my friend! You're going down. Alright, Chikorita, I'm gonna help the defense out a little bit. This Durant is about to get destroyed before it can take down Chikorita. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Get wrecked. Oh, well that Chikorita grew to level 10. That's at least something. We're getting destroyed here, must be honest. Like, we're legitimately getting destroyed in this place. I mean, I, I can't think of any other word to describe what's going on here. Okay, now this thing needs to die. Get wrecked. Check out, don't worry about that thing that's sleeping. We are gonna continue on our way here, because this is insane. <laughs> Number one rule! Don't die! Venonat, you're getting destroyed now. Maybe we should try that alliance thing. Maybe we should actually try that alliance thing, because... Super critical. That could probably be useful for attack. Of course, we're going for special moves and all, but... Whatever. So, with that, we're gonna go to level 11! That is nice. Nice indeed. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. You wanna leer at me? Fine. We're still moving on. Power boost Y, and it'll raise our special attack. Huh. Don't use up all your energy balls. Um... I mean, you still have Razor Leaf, though, at least, so... If by chance you do end up using up all of your, uh... Well, actually, now we have an Elixir, so at least we're in slightly better shape than... Oh, dear. There goes your energy ball! And there was my attack, and your attack, for that matter. That's Waterfall, even though I'm at minus one attack. You gotta be kidding me. 
take a water gun. Don't you dare attack my friend! Water gun got upgraded, okay. You shall be destroyed! Oh no, Chico is at low health. That's not good. At least we have Torrent. <laughs> that is one of the few times when Torrent is actually useful. It's finally happened. Torrent has been useful. I didn't think that would ever actually happen. I didn't think that was seriously ever gonna happen. Alright, check ready to get those coins, and we're gonna move on to the next floor. Oh dear. Tight bulldozer, but we don't have any looplets, so... Make do with what we got. Waterfalls upgraded, okay. Nice. And we're gonna miss. Ooh, we got the boost! This is gonna be resisted and all, but... That's going down. <laughs> well, I guess your stats are back to normal now. Sorry about that. Oh great, Star Avia. Chikorita, I shall help you! But don't you have Overgrow? Just in case such a situation would, uh, come about? Well, either way, we gotta keep going. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's Waterfall and I guess Ancient Power since we're out of other moves. You think Sleep Powder is going to affect Chikorita? Got another thing coming. And you're getting destroyed. But now we're out of Water Guns. And I'm falling asleep. We are out of power points now. I'm gonna have to probably start consuming elixirs. Um... What the... Can't open the door right now. Okay. I guess I can't. That sucks. So do we need a key before we can move on to the next floor or something? And now I'm getting hungry. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And now Chikorita is out of moves. You gotta be kidding me. Oh no, you still tackle. Of course, your accuracy is diminished. some waterfall on you. Use up our belly and all, but... Oh no. Chikorita, wake me up already! Here you go. Chikorita, why can't you wake me up? I need you to follow me, Chikorita, before you lose. Ugh. We're about to lose. Oh, there goes my belly.
That thing needs to go. Time to use some items! Time to use some items. Um... I don't know who to get the elixir to, me or Chikorita. I honestly don't know who needs it more. Alright, you know what? Ah, we're going for some alliances here. It didn't even help. Chikorita, what are you doing? Alright, that thing needed to go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This thing needs to- needs to go. Ooh, another- another elixir. That's awesome. Alright, let's move on. Um, this must be the end. Okay! Um, I think I'm a- I might be lost. Where am I supposed to go find honey? BB! Where are you going, BB? Uh, buzzy buzzy BB. Um, I I was looking for some honey. What? You, are you a honey thief? Ah, uh, buzz busy buzzy BB. No 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 no! I never. Come be to me. Ah, uh, busy buzzy BB. Come be. What is it? What is it, Buzzy Busy Combi? It's a honey thief, BB. Ah, uh, Busy Buzzy BB. I'm scared. What? This child? This one? She seems pretty young. Pretty young? Busy Buzzy Combi. Look, looks don't mean everything, BB. You Combi are pretty ferocious despite your own cute looks, BB. What? What? Couldn't be... B buzzy Busy Combi! Wait! Budu, you're alright? Thank goodness. We came to save you. So you're a band of thieves, BB! Uh, busy Buzzy BB! So she truly is a thief! A thief, BB! Buzzy Busy Combi! What? No! We're just... No time for excuses, BB. Ah, oh, busy, buzzy, BB. We're too busy after all. Ah, oh, bu busy, buzzy, BB. But you get behind us. We'll expel you thieves at once, BB. Ah, oh, busy, buzzy, BB. Oh, great. Well. We are in serious trouble. Um, I guess we can't alliance right now. Um, you know what? I'm gonna growl. Ancient power seems like the way to- Oh no, they have Gust. Okay, you know what? You know what? You guys need to go now. Let's go for a waterfall and let's say... Energy Ball should suffice for the combi. No, it didn't? What? You know what? This is, this is insane. Do you have any items for this? Slumber Wand. Uh... Okay, there goes the combi. Oh no, 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 you don't. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. No, you can't take down Chikorita, I can't let you. The waterfall and I guess 
Maybe ancient power would work then. Just don't miss. Oh no. Now you're next to the now you're next to the bee drill. And I don't have any reviver seeds. I don't think I have a chance here. Oh no, you're gonna... Chikorita, don't you dare attack that thing. Go for the ancient power in the waterfall then, and we better land these. Really? Waterfall, and I guess I have to tackle. Great. There we go! Alliance to the rescue. Oh my goodness. That alliance definitely made the difference. Ugh. Uh, uh. Busy bee. Uh, buzzy, busy. <laughs> Judging by your looks, you seem weak. But you are actually quite strong. But we must end this quickly. We must hurry and make honey bee bee. We must all attack at once. Bee bee. Who's that alliance thing you've learned? Busy, buzzy, busy, buzzy, busy, buzzy bee. Halt. What? Mistress Vespiquen! Mama! Beedrill, come be, calm yourselves. Your opponents are mere children. And they are no thieves. I hope you can forgive such a rude welcome. This happens to be our honey-making season, and we are terribly busy, busy during this time, and everyone's emotions tend to run hot. I'm afraid that you have come at a rather dangerous time. I do hope you understand. Um, are you... I am Vespiquen. I am the Queen of Nectar Meadow. What? The, the Queen? Oh, <laughs> well, I may be Queen in name, but... I am more like a manager in function. Um, your majesty, I, I came here because I wanted to get some honey. So you are a thief! Eek! Calm yourself. I take it, this is how you found yourselves in the fight I interrupted. What good will come of repeating your previous mistakes? I, I brought my allowance and all. My mom has been looking kind of pale lately, and she's always tired, and I heard that the honey you make is really nutritious. I thought that my mom could have some honey to eat, and she'd surely get better. So that's it. You were a very sweet and considerate child. So Vester Quinn seems to have given Buddy some honey. We do not need any of your money. You may have this as a gift from me. Really? Thank you so much. Now hurry back to your home, child. I do hope your mother will recover. Okay. Well. That night. Hmm. Thank goodness. Didn't you know how worried I would be? I'm so glad you're all right. Mom, I brought you some honey. Eat it all, um, eat it all up and get better, okay? Thank you, sweetie. But promise, from now on, don't go anywhere dangerous without me. Not ever. I don't care if you're... I don't care if you become an adult. Still, you will always be with me because I'm your mother. Okay, Mom. But aren't I gonna get a little old for that at some point? No, you're always mine. Aww. Thank you both so much for what you did. Thanks to you, my child is home safe. Please take this as, with, with my thanks. So that we received a perfect apple, and a weather looplet, and a guiding wand, and a pure seed. Wow, that's a lot. I am so grateful that you would worry about my buddy and go to save her. But 
You are also children yourselves. Please try not to be so reckless. Don't be too reckless at all, please. I'll take a buddy home now. Thanks, Eric! And you, Chikorita! Alright, bye guys. Just stay safe. It's really good that we found Buddy before anything bad happened. In the end, we skipped school to do it, but I'm still glad we went. It's gotten really dark now. If I'm too late getting home, Nuzleaf will probably chew me out. I guess I ought to start heading back. Hey, Eric. That story about you really being a human? Well, I believe it. What? Yeah. All right. I've decided. Eric, I want you to be my friend. Huh? Isn't that a bit blunt? Why does it sound like an order? No one believes anything you have to say right now, Eric. Wow, no punches pulled there. But that's the same way they treat me. So I really understand how you feel. It gets lonely when no one ever believes in you, or what you say. But if you have even just one friend who will believe you, then you'll be really happy. So as two fellow outcasts that no one believes in, why don't we start by believing in each other as friends? See? Then all we have to do is get another friend, and then another, and another! And then, one of them is inevitably going to get hit by one of those meteors that are falling, clearly, because it's a bunch of seemingly shooting stars that are obviously very dangerous and will kill a bunch of Pokémon. And someday, we'll even have more friends than we can count! And they'll be in danger, too! Just like those stars up there that are coming to kill us! Yeah, that's what we'll do. So many stars in the sky. So, Eric, be my friend. I mean, please, please be my friend. No, that's not quite it either. Sorry. I really hope that we can be friends. I promise to stand by you. So let's be friends. Maybe Chikorita's friend? Sure, why not? Be happy to. Really? You'll really be my friend? All right. Thank you, Eric. From today on, we're officially friends. Oh, I know. Um, let me see. Here they are. Eric, I'll give you one of these. Are these scarves? Yeah, I have two of them. My old pops found them, uh, found me when I was just a baby, you see. Apparently I was all wrapped up in these scarves, so I've always held on to them. But I want to show you that I appreciate your being my friend, so I'm giving you one. Here, why don't you try putting it on? What? Oh. Oh, Eric, it totally suits you. It really looks great, really. I'd say we both look pretty spiffy, huh? <laughs> and at any rate, these scarves will always be the proof of our friendship. Well, it's gotten really late. Let's head home. Oh, and I'll come by your place in the morning so we can walk to school together. So, see you tomorrow! Um, I guess we're under what? Oh, look, some love disc, tentacle, alamomola, a mantike, lantern, dugong. I'm telling you, it's the truth. You would believe a tale like that. He isn't called the big boss of the Northern Sea for nothing, you know. I didn't even get what we were trying to say. I know exactly. That's why I asked you guys to come with me in the dark to um, stretch of ocean. Oh, we're nearly there now. Um, what is going on here? What is this? Stone, I think. I can't really tell. It's still too dark. Let's back up a little. Okay, now let's try shining all our lights in it together. Alright. What in the... Are you serious? It can't be! No, 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 way! Whale Lord! Whale Lord has... ...been turned into stone! What? 
What? Clearly Pokemon in the deep ocean are really getting stoned now. Wow! Well! I guess next time we're gonna find out... Or, uh, I guess we're gonna next time work with Chikorita now that we've made up with Chikorita, who is, I guess, now officially our friend. But what is going on with these Pokemon being turned into stone? That's a little bit unsettling. Huh. Maybe we'll find out. But for now, I guess we're just children, so we gotta go to school until, I guess, we can graduate or get out of school. I don't know. Alliances seem useful, though, I must say. That definitely did help us out with beating those Combi and Beedrill. Even if it does take some belly from us. So, next time we're going to continue, I guess, with another lesson. Maybe we'll learn some more stuff. We already learned about looplets, amaras, alliances. What's next? I'm sure it'll be interesting stuff, although we're probably going to get in trouble for, you know, skipping school and all. But I guess that'll be next time. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.